Hello YouTube, I'm your host, the Nerdy Librarian here, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Now, before we get started on anything, you know what, don't forget, you know, while you're watching this video, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below on just fun topics you want me to, dis to discuss for next video I do on the channel and that sort of thing. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you feel like it, have some great content from Vegas, Skyrim, have some shell shock life, you know, just and something else I want you guys to be aware of is that I don't always have a a recording schedule. I don't, yeah, I don't have a recording schedule, and the reason for that is my life is hectic as it is. I have a full time position, just got that outside of recording, so. That being said, I don't have a set schedule yet, and because of that, when the videos come, they come. Don't get discouraged, guys. Videos will show up on the channel. But, that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this one. I did change a setting, by the way, with this. Oh, <laughs> and you're hearing uh, one of my cats next to me. So, I one of the settings I changed was the size of a land claim. And the reason for that is I was being a fool. So if we look at our map here, go ahead and pull this up. We know the trader's there. The UFO museum is right here. And I actually want to turn that into our home. Yeah, we're actually right outside of it, thankfully. Do we have any stones on us? We do, so we can make land claim blocks. And it might take, it might take a couple of these, because from what I've seen, you can have three different land claim blocks in the game at a time. And to be honest, I never really paid attention to that. Why? Ugh. You know, I I really do like. I really do like my cats. They, they're they a little bit needy sometimes, though. You know how it is. If, you, if you're a cat owner, you know. But you, you really enjoy it. Uh... Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to punch that. I just want to see the bounds on this thing. Did I actually manage to claim this entire thing? I upped it to the maximum setting on this to where it's 71 blocks. Just because it's more versatile that way. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think we can absolutely claim this entire thing. That being said though, I want to move it slightly forward here. That's, that's loud. Okay. So we want this to be in a defensible position, right? And you know... I know before I tried to put it up somewhere like this. Let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, okay, we can see the bounds now, right? Yes, we can see the bounds. And it's not over too far, is it? Oh, oh, wait, did we get the entire lot, the entire lot size here? Did we claim a nerd's haven, the UFO museum? Plus, it's, it's crop area? Oh, please tell me we did. Please tell me we did. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome. Okay. We now own the entirety of this UFO museum. That's, that's fantastic. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> of course, cat in here climbs into a box. Oh, man. That's fun. All right, speaking of boxes, we have the storage crate here. Um, yeah, we have a lot of random, different random items on us, but that's fine. Okay, clearing the area is 1.2 kilometers away, so we need to head that way. Do we have... Well, okay, we have food, honey. Do we have any water on us? See, water's going to be a huge issue. Okay, we have murky water. I think, yeah, we need to cook some of that up. 
while we're at it here. Okay. Where'd that go? Here it is. Now, I want to be careful with this because I know campfires do attract zombies when in use. And, okay, that was a quest. I think I have a... I think I have a cooking pot as well. I, I thought I held on to one of those. Let's see here. Did I? Well, we have a cooking grill. Oh, maybe I... Maybe I sold the cooking pot already. It's fine. Those things are fairly easy to find. Do we... Oh, we do have wood on us. Okay. I'm just blind, guys. I'm blind. Sorry about that. Happens. Okay. Oh, gosh. Pfft. Guys, let me tell you... Oh, can I just take... Okay, if I want to take half of a stack, how do I do that? No, no. Oops. Okay, I need to look this one up, guys. Oh, gosh. Keyboard, mouse, let's see here. Tool belts. No, not that. Menus, no, UI, uh, miscellaneous, edit mode, global, is it? Drop tool belt item, interact, swap item, quick select. Scope, zoom in, crouch, uh, secondary action, space. Reload, take all is R. What does that even mean? <laughs> hey, okay, leave a comment down in the comment section. Because, guys, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I have no idea what I'm looking at here, so let's just do this for now. We'll just put ten of those in there. Put that in there. Uh, water. I mean, I have murky water. Can I not... Oh, I need a cooking pot for that. No. Oh. That's rough. Yeah. That's uh, inconvenient. Just a little. You know what? Let's... Uh... Can of stock. Perfect. Perfect. Right, we want to uh, repair this. Because we'll need that where we're going. I know that for a fact. Hey, Rex, we're back. Wipe that shit off your boots. For fuck's sake, what is it now? Oh, gosh. Come on, man. Must you be that way? Uh, there is a thing of yucca juice. I'm half tempted to take that. I mean, there are a couple of them, but... <sighs> yeah. I need to All take right. one of those with us. Business, get out of my store. Yeah, nothing's real cheap here. What we need is vehicles, right? We need a way to get around faster, more efficiently, and taking less of our food up. And it's also day three right now. By about 
probably day five I want to start building a horde base, which I've seen some designs on how to do that. But since it's just since it's just me in this world here, you know, we are one of the only survivors here in the Zombol Apocalypse. I mean, I want to make sure that we're prepared. <laughs> <sighs> so guys, I'll say, t I mean, today's been a bit of a day. Going in to record this, starting in the early afternoon, it, it's been a hectic morning. My wife and I, we did a little shopping, and, you know, I'm like, oh, I need to put gas in my car before we go shopping. I forget to put gas in my car, so we go back for that. You know, no big deal, right? Just some frozen items in the trunk. It's how... It's usually how things go. You know, bog standard. But then she decides... We're at the gas station, and my wife is like, Okay, I am I have it down between two options of what I want. You know, what I'm... You know, potential options for lunch. I'll, I'll think about it while you're going in, paying for gas, and then pumping it. I'm like, okay. So, all that gets taken care of. And I ask her, and she's like, name one of them. So I name one of them, and she says the other one. It's like, okay, we can do that. Just, you know, I need to get groceries back home and in the freezer. Now, she also needs to uh, dog sit for her parents today. Because they're, they're taking a day trip. And so I was like, okay, not ideal, but we, we can do that. So the, the place she decides she wants to go for lunch is Arby's. I kid you not. We pull off the highway to go to this Arby's. And this, this car with a couple of girls pulling out of an AutoZone parking lot nearly T-bones us. And we, we had the right of way in this situation. If you know anything about driving, you know what I'm talking about. They were pulling out of a parking lot. We were on the road. So, almost got T-boned. So, I'm already frustrated at this point. It's like, seriously? Good news is, nothing really happened. But they just stared at us as they drove away. I'm just like, yikes. But, so we finally get to Arby's, and the reason my wife wanted to go to Arby's, you know, we're, we're a younger couple, so, I mean, our budget isn't necessarily as big as, as some people's when it, when it comes to going out. And she goes, so, I ask her, are we going through the drive-thru? She says yes. So I go to pull into the, the drive-thru. There's a bit of a line. Like, okay, no big deal. We can deal with that. Well, the line's moving as slow as molasses, for one thing. Secondly, where they have this drive-thru lane, it's on a bit of a slope. So when it finally comes time to be our turn, I nearly had a panic attack because... Well, because when I took the car out of park to continue forward, it kind of lurched backward toward the vehicle behind us. And I'm like, okay, this is a terribly designed lane. We almost got T-boned. Just not having a great day when it comes to this. And then, I mean, it's supposed to be fast food, right? Arby's? I'd say it probably took us... 10 minutes and just get through a line of four vehicles. It was... It was rough. But we finally got done with that. I got her back to her parents' house to check on the dogs. And we ate lunch. And now here I am recording, guys. So, hey! I made it. I'm here. So, yeah. Just, just a busy, busy day. But yeah, like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, I'm 
I'm both excited and nervous. So, I've been working part-time at this place out of town. You know, I, I commute to work each morning. And I finally, you know, got a full-time position. So that's, that's exciting, right? But it's also a little daunting, I have to say. I... Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm excited because I can have a full-time income with benefits to help support my family. But it's also like, yeah, you're going to be moving to a completely new position because you've been working temp and something else. And I'm just, I'm, I'm both ready for it and not, guys. I, to tell you the truth... I don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm probably just overreacting and all of that. So, keep me in check, guys. G give some encouragement down in the chat section. And you know what? Let you know, let's be a great community, guys. Give somebody else in the comment section some encouragement as well. That's, you know what, tell somebody that they matter. Say, glad you're here. I'm glad all of you guys are here and watching this one. Let's make the world a better place. Right? Let's do that. All right, this looks like the place we're gonna be clearing out. Oh no, it's it's gonna be across the street. Okay, real decrepit neighborhood. The Cook's residence. Well, we're not going in there. We're going to your next door neighbor, which is the Reber residence, like uh, Reber McIntyre. Boom boom. Oh yeah, we want to get our new uh, primitive bow here. Figured I'd up that to get a little more damage output. We've been running around with a tier 1. Doesn't make much sense to do that. Machete. Machete pirates. Who? Oh, I should have seen that coming. It seemed way too easy, guys. It, yeah, it was just way too easy the way they were presenting that. Oh, wait, wait, actually, Yucca Seed, one yuck to rule them all. I mean, imagine being able to make some... Yucca juice on our own. Oh. Oh, no sham sandwich. What a shame. Okay, and I don't want to make noise here, so we're just going to destroy some of these. Scrap Palmers, all of that good, fun stuff. Okay. See you, chump. Okay, we'll just skirt around the edge of that. Oh, I see I see this other one. Boom! Oh, that's just nasty. Oh, yuck. Hey, is this... Oh, that just gets, gets us clay. I could have sworn there's... Well, I know there's one of those boxes where you can get some... Uh, either stones or cobblestone rocks and it I mean if we're wanting to build a horde base that's gonna be that's gonna be super necessary so I want to start prepping for that not like doomsday prepping but you know it is the zombie apocalypse we are we are kind of in the middle of all of this oh Home cooking weekly, yes. Oh, grilled meat and red tea. Oh, beautiful. 
cooking pot? No, just some coal. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we have any... No rotting flesh. Wow, no food in here. That's... Oh, man. Rough. That's rough. A mound of garbage. Brass radiator and that. Uh... No, we'll scrap it. We'll we'll scrap that. Why not? Okay. Okay, bathroom is not occupado, good to know. Ooh, aloe cream. Very useful that stuff. And a clean bathtub. What have you got in your toilet these days? Paper. I expected as much. Oh, and broken... Oh. Yeet. Yeah, we'll just drop those. Don't need them. Okay, I made some noise. I, I should have just destroyed that mound. That pile. Ow. Come on, lady. Real classy. And I'm hungry again? Come on, man. Come on, now. I'm just down to the side. Uh, the soup here. La sopa. I'm, that's all I'm down to. Now I'm, now I'm not even down to that. I'm, I'm just out. I'm out of that stuff. Oh, good. More cobblestone rocks. That That's good to see, though. Needle and thread, anything anything on top shelf here? Nope, okay. Up to the roof section. Are we going to have uh, birds to deal with up here? No, no we're not. Okay, just some trash, some garbage. I dropped my mouse pad off the edge of the desk, that's fun. Oh, what a glorious, glorious day. Okay. Anyway. Oh, poo. So anyway, I just started blasting. <laughs> okay. First aid bandages. Oh my gosh. She just came around the corner. Dropped. Yikes. Wouldn't want to be that guy. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Made him regret that decision. Okay. Oh. Okay, there goes your face, Buster. Okay, medical supplies. Some more aloe cream. Oh, and uh, I guess we already have paper in the inventory as well, so... We'll go ahead and keep some of that. I don't remember what that's good for other than shotgun shells. We have Urban Combat Volume 6, or we've read it already. B bone crossbow parts, awesome. I can, sell the, I can sell the book, though. Ooh, Urban Combat Volume 1. Meet him in heavy boots will have no stamina penalty and reduce noise when moving. Oh, awesome. Oh, nice. New pipe rifle? Heck yeah. Do we have a modifier on that? We do not. Good. Good. So we can go ahead and scrap that. Get that back. Shells. We've got some chili. I was needing some food. Perfect. Thank you. Some more iron arrows. Awesome. Oh, right, and uh, instead of the, the bone knife, which gets this bone back hilariously. We'll, we'll put the hunting knife down there. Actually, why do I say hilariously? It's like I'm not expecting me to give the actual ingredient that is in the name on it back. I must, I must be some kind of moron or something, right? No. No. And we shouldn't, and I shouldn't talk about myself that way, should I? You're right, guys. You're absolutely right. Oh, couple of wheels. Beautiful.
Oh, and another loot bag. Where were these? Yet? Where were these the other day when I was recording? Let's go. Oh, shells. Four grip mod schematic. Boom. Armor parts and some glue. Oh, guys. We're doing well out here. We're doing well. Uh, it's going to be nighttime soon, so let's get back to wrecked here as soon as we can. And with those wheels, I think we might be in a good position to be able to make a bike. Unless I need to create workstation. F either the forge or a workstation first. Probably the forge. And is that... Do I need advanced engineering for the forge or do I need a schematic? Or is it yes? We'll check that when we get back. Because we have a pretty decent distance to cover while encumbered. Uh, and actually... Let's put the murky water back on our toolbar here. I, I don't think that helped the, uh, the encumbrance level at all, actually. I don't think that really affected anything. And as it stands, I actually need to eat this uh, can of chili here. I mean, that's that's how lean we're running on uh, food and water these days. So how have you all been? How have you, how have you been, viewers on YouTube? You doing all right? Having a good day? Glad to hear it. Not having such a good day? I'm sorry to hear that. How can I make your day better? I mean, I, I want to do what I can to help you guys out. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, no. <sighs> Bird's nest? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, excellent. Mechanical parts. Okay. Trying to think what else has happened recently. Okay, so with the whole getting a new job thing, you know, full time position, and moving out of the position I'm currently in, I've been having to train somebody this last week, and they're picking up on things really quickly, which I'm very happy about, because it means I've been teaching well. Uh, and I, I really kind of felt like a college professor this week, because in order to teach the position that I'm currently doing right now, which is kind of in data and data analytics, sort of-ish, um, I compiled a list of different tasks that I typically do in a work day, and then I split those up into, into lesson plans a little bit, if you will, partially to keep it easier for myself to gauge time-wise what we had time for, what we did in each day, but also so I could be like, okay, these are like items, they go together, what material do I have on those, I have some work process references, some templates, you know, things like that. Just, just compiling all of that together so that we could go piece by piece. But now here's the thing. I have a couple weeks or a little bit more until my full-time position actually starts and I've already trained this person on everything the position has so now but here's the thing this person also doesn't have all the uh, IT accesses to be able to do their position or the to do the position that I've been in so because of that they're kind of stuck and they've I think they've pretty much done all of the uh, online trainings that the company offers as well. At least that they're required to. So, I mean, I'm kind of at a loss, guys. What do I do here? Because I, I want to make sure that this person has things that they can actually do, which I'm sure they will still. But, you know, 
it, it's kind of rough to sit there for 40 hours for a couple of weeks and not really be able to do anything. At least for me, that's rough. I'm one of those people that can't sit still very well. I, I have to be doing something. I have to be working on something. Otherwise, the day is just so slow for me. And, hey, leave a shout-out in the comments or like somebody else's comment if, if, you're, if you're that same way. If you go, hey, nerdy, you're absolutely right. I sit there, I bounce my leg, I have to be working on something. Otherwise, I just get either bored or I just, you know what I mean? You know how that goes, right? You just sit there and you're like, I want something to do here to pass the time. <laughs> and I, I know I can't be on my phone because I'm at work. Like, I can listen to a podcast, but I'm still going to be sitting here. So, if you guys have been there, if you feel the same way, leave a comment, like somebody else's comment. You know how it goes. <sighs> Let's see. In terms of recent news, I mean, pfft, Florida got hit by that hurricane. I, I know it's been a week, week and a half since that, but Hurricane Milton. Oh, man. I, I feel bad for everybody that's that's down in that area that's been affected by that. And then, wasn't that, wasn't it also Milton that went up the eastern seaboard and uh, drenched the Blue Ridge Mountains? Am I, am I correct with that, or am I mixing up which devastating event that was? In either case, tragic. And I, I, I feel really bad about all of that. But... See, I, I know some people that live down in Florida. Hand, but so, I mean, the they're they're all right, thankfully. But, I mean, you can understand why I would be worried and anxious. Because, one, I'm not the only person like that's well, in that in that, in that position in that situation. Take I mean, look, but don't expect me to hold your hand through it. I mean, because we. There are a lot of people in the view in the viewership of this video in the comments section that go, yeah, no, I have family that lives down there, out. or I know friends that live down there, or I know people that used to be my neighbor that moved down there. Whatever it may be, guys, just thoughts and prayers to the people of Florida as they continue to recover. And the same goes for areas of the Blue Ridge Mountains that were affected by torrential rains and landslides. Okay? There, I said it. Let's... <sighs> now let's talk about something a little bit happier, shall we? Oh, man. What else has been going on? You know, there are, two, there, there are some topics I will avoid talking about on this channel, okay? I'm going to set the record straight on this. I don't want to talk politics on this channel. You know why? Because we are supposed to be a community of people that comes together, and even if we don't necessarily agree on everything, that doesn't mean that we have to vilify each other or get into arguments, right? To each their own. The best thing we can do is be a good friend, a good neighbor, a good colleague, whatever it is. Right? I And I don't want to pander to what the, you know, the ads that we see on social media or posts that we see on, you need to think one way or the other. No. We Let's treat each other with respect, love, and kindness. Okay, I will get off my soapbox now on this one as we go and dig for some buried supplies, which are actually in this area right here. Perfect. Uh, 
I don't know if I made this joke last time or not, but I really feel like Shia LaBeouf right now. Shia LaBeouf. How do you pronounce that? You know, we're going back to uh, the early 2000s with the movie Holes. I'm just out here digging some holes because I have to. Because I need to. It's it's a way of life. I've... You know, honestly... I don't think I'm allowed to make that reference. And here's why. And my wife would absolutely agree with this. I've... I have not seen the entire movie Holes. I caught it on TV once, I think. And was able to see maybe 25, 30 minutes of it. And... Uh, there just there's so many movies out there where where I've just seen snippets of them or people go oh that's that's an awesome movie you should watch that and I just haven't I just haven't gotten around to it and I don't I don't know if it's because people have told me that I need to watch them that I don't but I mean and I've probably mentioned this one before too on the channel but Okay, so you know the, the Star Trek movies, the more recent ones, directed by J.J. Abrams? With all the, uh, the screen flare and that sort of thing? Well, so, I had the first one for the longest time. Like, five years. It was just sitting on the shelf. I could see it. I saw it most every day, just sitting there. And... I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it for five years. I don't know why. We just had it. And I was just, I was just like, okay, not really in the mood for it for five whole years, guys. That's insane. What was I thinking? I mean, we all do pretty foolish things when we're younger, right? But seriously, I let that movie sit there for five years. That's a great movie. Uh, Into Darkness is is good with Benedict Cumberbatch as Khan in that, but I still think The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek II from the originals, is better. Let hey and you know what? Let guys let me know if you agree with that sentiment. If you're of the the same opinion, but I'm pretty sure anybody who is going to say that they are a true Star Trek fan is going to go, yeah, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan is the best Star Trek movie ever made, more than likely. And that being the case, they're going to say, of course, it's far superior to Star Trek Into Darkness. Not to say that Star Trek Into Darkness didn't have a good didn't have some good action, but at the same time, it was one of those did it did it need to happen? And I don't know. I don't know if it needed to happen. It was decent. And then you get Star Trek Beyond. I mean Idris Elba played a pretty pretty good villain. But I mean we haven't had a movie after that one. We haven't. So, I mean, guys, it, am I reading the situation correctly when I say it stands to reason that people weren't as into Star Trek Beyond as the first two movies? Was interest waning in the series? What what happened? Or is it? Or does it have another sequel that's in development but is just stuck in that, a la? Maybe Sherlock Holmes style? And let me tell you, I I can guarantee I'm not the only one with this video. So anybody in watching this, anybody in the comments section who is going, I want to see another Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes movie. Please and thank you. I'm I'm in the same boat as you guys, okay? Those movies are awesome. But it's been what? 12 years since we've had one of those? That was that was what? 
2012 that a game of shadows was made I mean gosh guys it's been so long so long please tell me I mean please tell me why you've had to hide your movie away for so long for so long it's not been a blue sky I've been waiting for that third movie for so long and it hasn't happened I'm disappointed you great here you go Don't oh crafting skill place. magazine bundle I just I have to take that out of sure principle Look, Buckhead, I'll I'd say it's another buried supplies mission you, once again alive. have to take that out of principle what, what does Rex here have in his inventory already I mean antibiotics are good but we have honey two things of honey so that should be better night vision mod whoo oh this is the mods category okay so colors weapon flashlight armor pocket I don't want to spend those I don't want to spend that much on that though sniper volume six. Oh, learn to craft armor piercing I'm good for now um Couple wooden bows for eighteen hundred, which do forty-seven point seven compared to. Oh wow, that's night and day difference. Uh, Grandpa's learning elixir, XP gain plus twenty percent. That's good for saving for horde night. Uh, let's sell the machete parts. We also have a shotgun tube extender. I don't plan on using shotguns in this playthrough really at all. I mean, unless unless we really get into a situation where we need them, then then yeah, we'll use them. But oh, but what was I looking for here? I I was looking for something. Yeah, and I don't even remember what it was. Okay. Thanks, buddy. I don't even remember what I was looking for. And that being the case, let's just stop over at the vending machine here. It's going to be expensive, but. I need to get both of these, both of these containers of food. To eat a couple now and have a couple in reserve, right? It, it's only fitting. That That's how we have to play that. Ah, and it's going to be nighttime soon. Let's get back to the UFO museum. Ah. You know, it really is disappointing that we don't have cook pot. I'm disappointed in myself for throwing that away. Okay. Prepped for all of that. We'll repair that. Let's see here. Perfect. Okay, and then what do we have here? We got anything good here? Oh, beautiful. Forge ahead. Oh, we can make the forge now, guys. We can make a forge. Get hammered, sharp sticks. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Some handgun parts we can put there. Some bone crossbow parts. Awesome. And then, uh, that's my primitive outfit. Oh, I know what I went in there looking for, and I didn't find it. Okay, our tier one rogue outfit I don't think is going to survive very long, guys. I really don't. Okay. Well, let's get back inside the UFO museum here. Get inside our little home. Which... Oh, boy. Save a waypoint. Home. 
Perfect. Beautiful. And then we can make a forge now. What is that going to take? 50 cobblestone rocks, a wooden log, 10 leather, 3 duct tape, and 3 short iron pipe. That's actually less than I thought it was going to take. Okay. So, that wood log, what's, what's that take to make? Oh, beautiful. Easy. Forge. Okay, we have the cobblestone rocks. I know that. Leather, oh, I don't know how much of that we have. Some duct tape and some short iron pipes. Okay. Night's fallen. Any zombies we see will be running. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. We need, okay, we have one leather. We need nine more. I wonder if there's any furniture we can break down here. And if not, can we craft leather? No, we can't. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So that is locked. So that's how we got into here. That was the end of this place. Oh, it's... We go through the window. Duh. Right. Okay. Right. Nasty. Oh, there's a footlocker here. Oh, muffled connectors mod. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. We'll put that on our commando boots here. So... So I think we can even make less noise than we were already making, if if I'm right about that. I could be wrong. And then we do have some more lockpicks. Oh, come on, please. Show me the money. Risky biz Is it risky business that that show me the money is from? Or is it oh, or is it the other one? Doesn't matter. Like a creepy hacker? I'm in. <laughs> okay, we added to our Molotov collection. Perfect. Ah, uh, here's the problem. Here's the problem. I don't think any of the furniture here is going to be suitable for for leather. What we need is a wrench. Can we make a wrench or do we just have to find one? Okay. Salvage tools four. Got it. So we can't make that yet. Wait, do snakes give leather? They do. And meat, guys. We can start making some food. Well, we probably need to get more skill books, but... In order to make even better stuff. Okay. Let's stay sneaky here. We're kind of caught out in the open. Oh, I bet there are going to be dogs here. Oh, there's definitely going to be dogs in the in the fire station. That that guy's lumbering this way.
Okay. Well, we're here now. Oh, Furious Fists. Knuckle Wraps Quality 3. I mean, maybe we need to go Knuckle Wraps. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is nerve-wracking, guys. Trying to sneak around at night and not get detected? Oh, man. How hard of a lock is this to pick? Is this going to get me in trouble? Are our alarms going to blare if uh, this doesn't work? Oh, please work. Please work. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Wooden club. Level 2. We'll just scrap that. Oh, 762 ammo and more shotgun shells. That's awesome. We needed that. Ooh, nasty. Run me, run! Oh, gosh. Okay. Whoo! He, I, I bet he was in here, right? Yeah, he was in here. Okay. Okay. Oh, vehicle adventures? Yes. More short iron pipes. Nice. Never know you need those for. Yeah, well, okay. And stay down. Painkillers, needle and thread. Okay. That's good. That stuff is good. <sighs> this is why I grabbed more food. This is why I did that. Okay, there's going to be a pipe to shut that off. I know that. Some vitamins. Okay. Now, here's the question. Do you think anybody's at the front of this garage? Okay. Well, I think we stopped the fire. Kind of ironic in a fire station, if you ask me, but it's the way it goes. Some... Oh, hell no! Ah! 
Ow. Okay, that was rough. <sighs> How's a rogue armor looking? Not great, but it's still somehow surviving. Probably the fire chief's office, if you ask me. Leather. Awesome. It's like the game knows that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Office furniture? Definitely gives leather. We need to find more of those chairs. Okay. Dog house, but I don't see a dog. I don't see a dog. Which is good for me. Oh, wait. Is this just the loot here? Sniper Volume 2? Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember? That's fun. Structural Brace mod? Taking that. First Aid Bandage? Take it. Preacher Outfit? Undead damage resistance plus 4%. Okay, might be able to sell that. I don't think we're going to use it, but you never know. Yep, there they are. Ow. Suffered an abrasion. Okay. <laughs> Sounds real bad up here. Oh, gosh! Not another lumberjack, no! See ya. <sighs> well, at least we have honey for that. The good old honey trap. We did use a first aid bandage there, right? I swear we did. Okay. Okay. That got rough. We survived. We're okay. Electrical traps, we'll use those. Car battery. Mo power. Wiring 101. Okay, electrical traps. And some robotics parts. Robotics parts are excellent finds. And what's this I see? Some books? Oh, making my day, guys. Armored up. Boom! Light armor's quality one. Medium armor's quality one? Okay, so pretty much anything quality one, right? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, and a kitchen? I mean, I think we made enough noise that we pretty well cleared out most things in here. So, that's at least good. Oh, coffee. Not a big coffee drinker in real life, but you know what? In-game, we need that sustenance. Just some coal. Home cooking weekly. Boiled meat and yucca juice. One yuck to rule them all. Ba all bacon and eggs and coffee. There we go. Water cooler. 
More murky water, but we can cook that. Perfect. And this chair is going to give us leather. Boom. Seven. Where was that at? Okay, lady, you you gotta go. You really suck. Really? Tanky. Okay, and I'm hungry again. I mean, is fortitude the way to go? That, that seems to be a big issue here, but... There are some other things we really need to figure out as well while we're at it. Oh, man. I mean, I think I have to go fortitude here. I have to go fortitude on this one. And then I suppose, I mean, eat some food and we need to get back out into the world. Well, or do we go up toward the roof area and maybe encounter more ferals, but find some more loot? Oh, dilemmas, dilemmas. Oh, bell tower. Got it. Okay. Well, there's not much else to see up here. It doesn't look like... Okay. This POI is clear... No thanks to my own abilities. That was, oh, that was rough. Yeah, we need more leather. More leather. Okay, armored up, that's good. Blueberry seeds, some iron arrowheads, oh man. But we're really pushing an encumbrance here. Oh, but the chair. The chair. The chair, though. Okay. Another two leather, we're at nine, we just need one more. Now. Oh. Wait. What just happened? Did you, you guys see that? Did that... Did that zombie just flop over? All on its own? Okay. I'm not complaining. I, I'm not complaining about that. That's awesome. It's good for us. Jim's Gun Fortress, or Jim and Tim's Bullets and Booze. Three Skulls. I'm not going in there right now. I'm not feeling that. Bleh. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. That was rude of me. Sometimes you just have to have that normally bodily function and just burp. And I did it. I'm sorry. Oh, Three Skulls, Midway Clinic. Oh, you we. Seven hour parking, huh? Something tells me the undead did a little more than seven hours of just lying there. Let me tell ya. Okay, pipes and stones. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One yuck to rule them all. We got two of them now, though. Nah, I'm not going in there. 
I just need something like an office chair, or just a chicken to wander by, you know? Something that can give leather. Oh. Oh, gosh. We're getting so encumbered here. Cruise through liquors has no skulls? Okay. Hey, tools digest. That's good. Sports bag. Scavenger boots. Reduced salvage stamina. Eh, I'm going to scrap those. Ah, uh, we can get corn where we're at. Oh, that gave armor parts. Okay. Oh, so much murky water, guys. We're up to 17 now. So oh, gosh. It didn't say this place was that dangerous. It showed zero skulls. What? What the heck, lady? What the heck? Uh. Oh, that was spooky. Pumpkin bread and blueberry pie. Awesome. Oh, and an office chair. Ten leather. There we are, guys. Yep, he's outside. Boy, I should have just whacked you a long time ago. Oh, okay. Okay, anything else here we need to know about? I mean, if you're not even giving this place a skull rating, does, does it have anything of value in it? Aside from what we have already? I... Oh, hey, security cameras. Do I try to unlock that? Uh, let's go see what's on the other side of this. I don't think there's anything worthwhile there, though. That's probably just another garage door on the other side, and then a whole lot of nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting concept, though, having a place you can pull in to buy booze. That's, uh... You know... I'm sure there are people that would really enjoy and appreciate something like that. Personally, I don't see uh, personally I don't see the appeal of doing that or uh, how it's well not not necessarily the appeal, but I don't know how efficient that's going to be that system because I mean you you already don't want people drinking and driving. There are laws against having open alcohol containers in a vehicle it ah boy you're just stepping on your own toes with that business model guys yikes wait can I make a do I have I have the things on me to make a forge right oh I'll accept the cobblestone rocks ah <laughs> Gosh, dang it me. Coffee seeds, huh? Anything we can... Uh, I want to keep that cement. Let's get rid of the bones here and pick those up. For all our uh, farming needs later. Still hungry. I literally have no food on me. Except... Well, okay, I've got tuna. Never mind, I'm... Don't mind me, I'm just being a drama queen over here. Okay, looks like our sprained arm is about to be healed here. Welcome home to the UFO Museum. We can get a forge going, guys. This is huge. This is huge. I mean, this is step one toward being able to make a bike, right? And we already have, what, a couple wheels? 
Oh, wait. Cobblestone rocks? Oh, guys. We're gonna be set here. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. Okay. Now, the way I see it, we're probably best off putting this stuff on the outside here. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Place Forge was a challenge? Heck yeah. 3,000 XP? Easy. Okay. So we can make forged iron out of iron and clay. What's it take to make a bike? Wheel, well, two wheels, bicycle chassis, bicycle handlebars. We can make those with forged iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, and springs. And kind of similar, we need something similar for the handlebars. Wait, so, but we do need forged iron. Yes, we do. Okay. Forged iron, we need clay and iron. We have, well, I think we moved the iron and clay out to our box here. So, let's get that going. Oh, and uh, let's grab that and our meat so we can make some bacon and eggs for us, for ourselves. Uh, we need the short iron pipes, I know that. Duct tape, we're running low on that. We can get more of it. Oh, do I have... Oh, yeah. I have clay. I have clay, guys. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. We'll just uh, put this stuff and put that into the forge. And yeah. Okay. Okay. We want that up in there. Okay, we'll let that go for a bit. That might attract some zombies, so we need to be careful. Uh, next quest is that way. Traders that way as well. But first, right, food. Keep I keep distracting myself, guys. You you need to remind me not to do that. Wait, can I not make bacon and eggs? I need cooking. Po oh. <laughs> well. At least we can make a couple things of grilled meat, I guess. Okay, we'll let that keep going, let that generate. Okay. Well, I guess I have to go crawling back to the trader then. Oh, we also have the structural brace mod, right? Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Add that to there. Perfect. Yeah. Crawling back to the trader. He's not selling a cook pot, is he? I, I doubt he is, but if he is, we're going to want that. It's going to be super necessary for what we're doing. You're welcome here if you shut the fuck. Money talks, bullshit walks. I mean, let's... Oh. Hmm. Right. So we want uh, a cook pot. He doesn't have that. I don't... We might be able to make a cook pot. I could be wrong on that. But we might be able to make one... Uh, what else do we want here? I mean, does he have any 
Okay, he has books. Does he have apparel? I mean, yeah, he has armor. Oh, assassin boots, tier 3. Stealth sprint noise. It's reduced by... Oh, my gosh. Oh. Or their rogue boots, tier 2 for 3,600. Safe fall distance, plus 2. Huge. Okay. Um, like I said, though, we can sell him that. We can absolutely do that. Um, aside from that, a sale is a sale, even if it is, is to a scumbag, scumbag like, like you. you. <sighs> yeah. Oh, hey, buy items from traders is is a challenge. Okay. Boom, redeem. Another 3,000 easy XP. Okay. You know what? Maybe those buried supplies have some food in there for us, right? We can only hope. Also, I have to say, uh... We haven't had an airdrop yet, and I, I could have sworn I changed the settings for airdrops. I could have forgotten to do that, though, as well. Because it looks like airdrops are every three days, typically, but for progression, just be because it's just us, I was going to switch that to one day. But, you know, if it's set at three days, that's fine. It might be for today in game and then that might be something I need to change next time if I don't get around to it just or you know what to make sure I get around to that guys leave a comment down in the comment section below right keep me in check keep your youtuber in check <sighs> okay let's see what else has happened recently oh wait is that a desert over there? That might be a desert over there, guys. It's a good source of oil shale if it is. I mean, let's let's take a look at the map here. What are, what are we seeing? Okay. That's an excellent find if that is desert. I do believe it is. Oh, this this tree is going to be in the way, isn't it? Be with you momentarily, my good, my good fellow. Oh, I was hoping to have that fall on him. That would have been hilarious. Okay. Now, in all seriousness, let's let's start digging a hole here. Uh, return to our Shilebaf roots. I. And there I go, making that reference again. I haven't even... I haven't seen the movie all the way through. Why am I doing that? Why am I trying to make a reference on that? Come on. Come on, me. You know better than that. No, you don't. You don't know better than that. Oh. Okay, so simultaneously, guys, I was just talking to myself a little bit there. Because, you know, I do that occasionally when I think or when I'm arguing with myself. And, yeah, no, I can't make that reference. Oh, no, we don't need to see that. Okay. 
Let's just drink our coffee. I think we get better stamina regen with that too, right? Is that what that coffee symbol means? Yep, it helps you stay warm for a limited time. Awesome. Okay, you know what? All, all this shoveling in-game is making me a little thirsty here. Remember to hydrate up, people. Alright, back to the action. Hydration breaks are always very important, guys. Okay, I hear two. Yep. Ow. Nasty. Oh. Oh, oh, the wet thuds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. No, get that off my screen. That's nasty. Stop that. You're already done for. How am I out of stone arrows already? Really? What happened? Oh, my... Well, I have feathers. I have wood. Oh, do I not have... I don't have any stone on me. Okay. Switch over to iron arrows for now. Okay. Oh, yep, and there's the buried food stash. And it is a food stash. Okay. Southern farming... Boom, we'll take that. Some pears, some charred meat, and more murky water. Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm very hungry. Maximum stamina is reduced sharply. Okay. Oh, gosh! So many crawlers out here. Okay, uh, yeah. So we increased the fortitude. Iron gut. We need iron. We need more iron gut, guys. That is absolutely what we need.
Did we get a mini horde or something? I could have sworn I heard another one. Like, I, I know we spawned maybe three or four zombies at the end of that mission, but... Oh, wait. Hang on, guys. Why am I try, trying to build a bike? Because isn't that guaranteed loot after you complete ten quests? Or do ten things for the trader? How many quests have we done so far? We've done a few. We, we've absolutely done a few. I mean, this, this wouldn't be number 10, though, would it? No, no, it can't be. No, 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 we're close. Nowhere near. Oh, three eggs. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Well, if we are getting an airdrop today, we'll see in seven in-game minutes. Six now. Yeah, I don't think we have an airdrop. Oh. Oh, we do! Oh, guys, we, we got an airdrop. We actually got an airdrop. Wow. Come here, big guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yikes. He gone. He's blown away. Make it snap. I'd shake your hand, but okay. got dysentery. <sighs> So he can get... Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, he's offering food, but honestly, I have to go for this crafting skill bundle. Another buried supplies. Yeah, we have to, we have to take that. What are you there for? Don't you have work to do? I do. It's just... Wrecked. You gotta be patient with me, man. Okay. Electrical traps. Handgun magazine and armored up. And, uh, we don't really have anything to sell either. I think we. Okay. What do we do? Get get some cans of shan here. Maybe buy one. Now nah, we buy two. We buy two and we just eat them. We just use these. Because we still have that charred meat in there. I mean, that's that's what we have to do. Oh, and I think I left the fires burning at uh, the UFO museum. Oh, dang it. It's... Oh, gosh. I left the fires going. No! Very inefficient of me. It, it, see, it's like with my wife. I So I have to remind her to shut lights off when she leaves a room. <sighs> Which, she's getting better about it, but it still happens occasionally. So I'm like, hey, babe, you still in that room? She looks back, sees the light on in the room, she's like, oop, sorry about that. But it, it's okay. I mean, nobody's perfect. Okay. Seeds, seeds, cream, plant fibers, robotics parts, the battery, and that concrete mix. 
Okay. Yeah. It, it burnt through all the wood already. Yeah, that'll take a while. We have our two grilled meats here. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? I'm actually okay with leaving that on. It's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, look at that, guys. We're almost back to full health. Just need to get rid of that minor abrasion. <sighs> but we're not technically hungry anymore. Or thirsty. Oh, it's so good, guys. Boom! We can sprint again. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's so nice. Being able to do stuff again. I'm me! I'm me again! Hello world, hear the song I'm... Well, let's not get this video copyrighted, okay? Okay. Here I come, world, we're having a... Oh, I'm shaking the screen around way too much. There. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to anybody who is motion sick. Oh, hey, look at that. I think this guy broke down the side of the road here. Oh, oh, he's really complaining about it. Oh, he's working on it. He's like, what the heck is with my car here? Oh, he's done. That's a career ender right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll take both those things. Why not? But guys, yeah. Okay, we have that forge now. What? What is our next goal? Our, the next goal is to get a bike, right? So we can either complete quests to get that, or we can build one. I mean, it's not going to be too difficult to get the supplies needed, necessary, but at the same time, I mean... Oh boy. Okay. This, this is a military camp, right? If I'm looking at this correctly. This is a military camp here. And if that's true, then there are absolutely going to be one, military zombies in there. And two, landmines around it? Am I am I reading this correctly? Yeah, I'm reading that correctly. That's three skulls. I'm good. I don't need to do that right now. See you, chump. Yeah, so what else has happened recently that I can think of here? <sighs> oh, okay. I I have a bit of an interesting story that happened from this week. Um, okay. So, as you know, my wife and I, we got married not too long ago, right? And so, this week, she's like, you know, I'm not feeling so good. And I'm like, what do you mean? And... So I, I get home from work, and she goes, yeah, I threw up twice today. I'm like, yikes, are you okay? And she's like, I mean, I feel fine. I, I don't feel nauseous or anything. I'm like, okay. So then she talks to her mom, and, and the whole situation turns into, 
I might be pregnant. And I'm like, uh, okay, what, what am I supposed to do here? I mean, I, I'd be happy with that outcome, but at the same time, we don't, know, we don't yet have a place to uh, call a home yet. We don't, we don't have our own place to be able to do that. Are you sure about? Are you sure you're pregnant? She's like, well, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I have all these things that line up with that. And I'm like, babe, 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 babe. Let's not, let's not try to self-diagnose with online stuff. Which I know is exactly what was happening. Well, a little bit exactly what was happening. But, you know, she's also in that position where she says she's ready for kids. And, I mean... I'm the more conservative type or hesitant type in in this marriage. So me, I'm like, okay, I want to be a bit of a voice of reason here. Let's not get our hopes up until we know for certain, right? So go to Walmart, and she gets a pregnancy test, and we find out no, it negative, and she's she was disappointed by that and I, I feel bad I, I feel really bad because you know in, in that situation I'm like I don't know what I'm supposed to do because you know I want to make sure that we're gonna be ready to raise our kids properly have a place to be able to do that and not be financially burdened and overstressed about it so that we can be, be the best parents that we can be not to mention, I would like some of that time for us to figure out what it's like just living on our own. Because, you know, right now, I mean, we're we're doing what we can right now, but we don't have we don't have a home. We don't have we don't yet have a home and. So, I, I want to be the voice of reason, but at the same time, I want to be able to comfort my wife. And that's a really hard, hard balance. Okay, now that that's taken care of here. Uh, I mean, healing factor is good, but it takes it takes more uh, food to be able to do that, right? Yeah. So we need to be careful with that. Okay, let's go for from the shadows too here. Okay. Give, give the military base a wide berth. We know what happens if we get too close to that, a.k.a. I go flying ragdoll style into the air, explosions by Michael Bay. Not necessarily in that order. I'm pretty sure it's the explosion, then ragdolling into the air. But you know what I mean. You, wouldn't, you just... It, it would be so bad. It would be awful. We want to avoid that at all costs. So... Let's be safe about this. We'll come. We might come back to that another time, because I mean, military bases are definitely interesting monsters to go through. It's only three skulls, though. I mean, that one checkpoint we went to in the first episode was four skulls, right? And I made the mistake of going in there, and uh, well, I mean. Okay, it was rough last time. Like, real rough. Should never have gone in there. Still, still can't get over that. Uh, but you know what? 
this this episode is different. This time is this time is different. We're doing what we can. Okay. So I I have to laugh about something. So this morning my wife and I get up and sometimes we act a little bit childish together, right? Like we we rough house a little bit like happy married couple does sometimes when it's early in the morning on a weekend and we're like <sighs> So she starts chasing after me and I go I go first hide in the kitchen. Oh, let me You think you're pretty and smart now. Don't she you? finds me again. Here's your pay, Einstein. So I I run downstairs and downstairs Look, there no, there's dude, another I, bedroom the and bathroom combination. Next time, bathe before coming to a job interview. And she comes downstairs. I'm around the corner between the bathroom and the bedroom. She can't find me. Well, but she starts coming closer and she's like, "Babe, are you there? Don't please don't scare me. I don't scare her, but what I do is I sneak around the other way as she walks into the bathroom section as and I slip into the bedroom section, go around her, and then <laughs> I start running like a madman going hee 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 It was it was so bad, guys. It was funny. I mean cuz I I know I can outrun my wife, but I also feel bad. I, I don't want to tease her too badly, you know? You tease somebody because you love them, right? But there's also a point where you don't want to over-tease somebody. But, see, I just accidentally sneak around the house. I don't mean to do that. I, I, I'm light on my feet. What can I say? I live with cats. I'm a cat guy. And... I, I'm just, I'm used to that. I just, but, you know, the amount of times I will actually sneak up behind my wife and go, hi, babe, and she just jumps. Like, out of her skin a little bit. Uh, it's... Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, primitive bow quality four, that's nice. Tools digest, two of those. Wiring 101. Handy land. Okay, armored up. And two forge ahead. Okay. And then this melee mods bundle one. Okay, we already have the weighted head mod. Oh. I, I think let's see do we do this where it's stun and slow victims or no we use the wood splitter mod on that right best case scenario and then we already have something on that for structural brace so oh and we need a stone here to repair it okay back in action Oh no. It's a buried supplies and it's gonna be nighttime. Oh Well unless we can get there quickly enough, but we're almost out of food and water again. Oh, that's so rough. That's rough. Okay. So you know what, guys? Here's what we're going to do. It's been... It looks like it's almost been a couple hours here. We, we've we done some good searching around. Some good questing. We got a forge. I, I think what we do here is we... 
Well, where are we in relation to the UFO Museum, our home? We're not too far from it. Buried supplies are around back there. We're going to need a cook pot. What if we go inside a residence instead? Because I do... Or actually, wait, 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 wait. Can I make a cooking pot? Uh, wait. I can make that in the forge. I can make it in a forge. Okay. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. We're cooking. We're cooking, guys. Oh, no, I don't want to hide the waypoint. Where's home? That away. We're going to head back. We're going to make ourselves a cook pot, get some food and water cooking up. And then we're going to call we're going to call this episode here. Now that we've made a little more progress, and then next episode we're going to be going into day 5, so it'll be it'll be time to start making a horde base, which we have we have some good materials for that. Just have to get into the building of it. Uh, I do wish we had some better quality weapons here in game cuz I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, we have a tier 3 primitive bow. We have a pistol and a pipe rifle. The pistol's probably the most beneficial thing, but we need we need a repair kit to repair if that's what we're really going to use. Because here's the thing. I don't know if we can hold off zombie horde on horde night with what we have here. Not to mention we have the rogue armor which is not going to survive until day 7. Unless we do something about that. Because I, I don't know about you, but I'm not overly confident in what we have here. And I, I hate to have to say that. I, I like to be a confident guy. But, man, we're... It could be better. It could be better, guys. Okay. So... Yeah, so this burnt out again. It's fine. So what's it take to make a cook pot? What what do I What do I need for this? Oh, I need 31 iron. Okay. Okay, we need more iron in there. I'm like, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm like, it says we can make it. I just, like, we, we don't need a, a specific implement. Yeah, and I think we're almost out of iron here. We do have some short iron pipes we can put in there. I don't want to use too many because we need those for other things. Maybe I make a pipe machine gun as well. That's a thought. Short iron pipes, glue, and wood for tier one. I mean, if we're truly desperate and we need something that has rate of, fu rate of fire just to hold them off, I think that's what we go for. But otherwise, I mean, we only have 47 shots, though. So... <laughs> I don't want to resort to that if we don't have to. Okay. Perfect, we have that. Couple of bacon and eggs couple of bacon and eggs coming up and then 
I still have my murky water here. Can I do something with that as well, or can I only have one? No, I don't have to have just one recipe going. Good to know. Okay. What else can we do with a forge here, with what we have? Um... I think, oh, scope lens. Interesting. That's, that's new. Okay. Next, uh, can we make farm plot blocks? Yes, we can. We need rotting flesh and nitrate powder. I said we were going to stop the episode here. And, you know, I, I want to be a man of my word here. So... We'll pick this one up next time, guys. I'm just looking for something here first. Yeah, we have 13 riding flesh, so we could make a farm plot. Next time, we're going to get some farming going. We've got food and water up the wazoo now. Or, not up the wazoo, but we have the capability to be able to do that. So, it's look things are on the up and up for us. We, we have the capabilities. So, that being the case, guys... I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to see more of this. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.